Welcome to this presentation on types of tectonic plates. The Earth structure is broken up into layers, and the outermost layer of the Earth structure is composed of tectonic plates. Tectonic plates are defined as rigid slabs of rock, and there are about 52 plates in total, with there being seven major tectonic plates. There are lots of minor and micro ones as well. There are two types of tectonic plates, oceanic and continental plates, or we sometimes call them crust. The table of information presented here provides a summary of the differences between oceanic crust and continental crust. It has been structured to allow you to complete a question in the like-for-like -like format that a contrast question requires. The first difference to state between continental and oceanic crust refers to the age of the crust. Oceanic crust is the youngest, being less than 200 million years old. old. The oldest crust is continental crust, and most of this is over 1,500 million years old. Oceanic crust has a thickness of 6 to 35 kilometres. This is thinner than continental crust, which has an average thickness of 6 to 70 kilometres, the 70 kilometres being found under fold mountains such as the Himalayas. The third characteristic by which they differ is refers to density. Oceanic crust is the densest crust. This means it is heavier, so it subducts into the mantle. Continental crust is made up of oxygen and silica, lighter minerals, so it does not subduct. The fourth characteristic is the rock type that the crusts are made of. Oceanic crust is made out of basalt, a black rock whereas continental crust is made out of granite, which has a range of different flecked coloured crystals. Oceanic crust is constantly renewed at mid-oceanic ridges and destroyed at ocean trenches, whereas continental crust, once formed, cannot be renewed or destroyed. I am now going to apply the information you've just learned from that table to this exam question. Compare and contrast oceanic and continental crusts. The first thing you should do is identify your command words. These are compare and contrast. Compare means to talk about the similarities. Contrast means to talk about the differences. The key terms in this question are oceanic and continental crust. Also, I know I've got four marks to achieve. This means I need to talk about the similarities and differences between oceanic and continental crust in my answer. Because it's four marks, I need to write in sentences that are connected and developed, and I need to use the like-for-like -like structure. This means that I use connectives to link my points about one type of crust to the other. I'm going to read through the answer and point out where the demands of the question have been met. Firstly... There are two types of crust, oceanic and continental crust. They are similar as they are made out of rigid slabs of solidified rock. That first paragraph has completed the compare element of the question. And by using they are similar, I have in the same sentence talked about both types of crust. The second paragraph goes on to talk about the differences. However, these two types of crust do vary a lot. One key difference is that oceanic crust is thinner than continental crust, 6 kilometres compared to 6 to 70 kilometres. A further difference is that oceanic crust is the youngest of the two crusts, with an approximate age of less than 200 million years old, whilst continental crust is older, with most of it being over 1,500 million years old. Oceanic crust is denser than continental crust, so this is why oceanic crust is able to subduct into the mantle beneath the continental crust. So in this second paragraph, we have got connectives being used to give a like-for-like -like structure. So we've got compared to, we've got whilst, we have words or phrases like than, than, okay, so than continental. This just shows that within the same sentence we're comparing oceanic to continental and we're using the like for like structure. In this second paragraph we have also got a number of characteristics commented on. We have the fact of 
the thickness in our first section here. We then have the age compared. And lastly, we have mentioned about the density and how that leads to subduction. This is what you should include in a question related to oceanic and continental crust. If the question is only contrast, you only need to talk about the differences. If it has the compare in it, you need to say how they are similar to. That completes the end of this presentation on the differences between oceanic and continental crust and how to apply your knowledge to an exam question.